Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. Okay, so, how many times have you had a great idea for an app, but the thought of actually building it just deflates you? You've got to pick a framework, write the code, set up the backend, figure out deployment. It's a huge mountain to climb. Well, Google just dropped something inside their AI studio that pretty much help you climb that mountain. They've added a new build option to AI Studio, and I have to say this is crazy good. It's a seriously powerful tool that lets you go from a simple idea in your head to a fully working, deployable web app in minutes. Building apps have never been this easier. Today I'm going to show you not just what it is, but we're going to build an app together, and I'll highlight the pro-level features hiding just under the surface that make this thing an absolute game changer. Let's do this. So, this is the normal Google AI Studio Playground. We all know about it. If you look at the left side, you will find the new build option here. And if you click it, then you will come to a brand new interface that was just released. This is the new things that Google has just released for everyone. And not going to lie, it's pretty fun. The core idea here is simple. You describe the app you want, and Gemini builds it. But the control you have is what's crazy. You can choose which specific Gemini APIs you want the app to use. For example, if you want to integrate Google's Nano Banana or image generation in your apps, then you can mention it here and it will use those APIs in your app too to do that specific task. That is actually pretty awesome. Not only that, you can swap out the model on the fly if you want a different one. And for the real power users, you can add custom system instructions to permanently guide the AI's behavior for your app. It's not just a black box, you're the director. By the way, currently they only offer React and Angular to build the apps. You can choose the template from here. They also have a microphone selector too, which you can use to select the microphone for writing prompts using your speech. And you can even add documents in this builder too, using the add button. If you have a whole product requirements doc, a PDF, even just a screenshot of a design you like, you can give it that context to guide the build. Okay, that was all the boring theory. But now, let's build something. We're making Tweet Genius, a tool to help me write better tweets. Now, you can start with a blank slate, or you can check out the app gallery for pre-built templates, which is super handy. There's also a Your Apps section that keeps a history of everything you've made. But we're going from scratch. I am not going to use any template. I am just going to write what I want in this box. So, this is what I have written here. Build a simple web app called Tweet Genius with a fun, modern look. It needs a text box where I can type a topic. Under that, a button that says Generate Posts. When I click it, use the AI to come up with three short, engaging tweet ideas about that topic. And for each tweet idea, also generate a unique, relevant image to go with it. Display the results in separate cards, with the image right above the tweet text, so they're easy to read. So, in this project, we are using image generation too. It's going to be fun. Now, after writing what I want, I will just hit the build button, and it will start generating the app for me. You will come to this new interface, and you can see that our app is getting generated. You can see what is happening right now here on the left side, and you can also see the code too from here that is getting written. Now you just have to wait a little. Once your app is done getting generated, it will show up in the preview section right here. And boom, our app is finally generated. And it looks pretty good. Now, let's test it. I will give my topic right here. The importance of coffee. Let's see what it generates. And most importantly, let's see whether it even works or not. And it did work. You can see it generated the posts for me, with images too. So, as you can see, it did exactly what we wanted. This is really awesome. Now, if you want any changes in your app, then don't worry. You can just come here and give another prompt, and the app builder will apply those changes for you. Perfect. Now look at the preview controls. We can pop it out to full screen, check the responsive design for mobile, even rotate it. These are the little details that make this feel like a pro tool. So we built an app in, what, 90 seconds? But this is where it gets really wild. What do we do with it now? Look at these options up here. You can download all the code in a zip file. You can copy or clone the project to make a new version. But these next two are my favorite. First, save to GitHub. This isn't just a code dump. It will actually authenticate with your GitHub account, create a new repository for you, and commit the code directly. 
That's a huge time saver. And then, the final boss. Deploy to Google Cloud. With one click, this will take our app, package it up, and deploy it on Cloud Run, giving you a live, public URL you can share with anyone in the world. And if you're not ready to deploy, you can just get a shareable link to the preview for feedback or publish it publicly in the gallery for others to see. The entire workflow, from just a prompt to a live app on GitHub and the cloud, is all right here. So, there you have it. This isn't just about making simple apps faster. It's about fundamentally changing the speed of innovation. The ability to instantly turn an idea into a fully coded, editable, and globally deployable application is just mind-blowing. And it's also pretty fun. That's the best part. This was the new update that was released on Google AI Studio. What do you think about this new update? Drop a comment below with the first app you would build with this. I honestly want to know. If this blew your mind as much as it did mine, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into various new AI tools. Thanks for watching, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one.